so we are just opening a brand new exhibit called Infectious Disease Evolving Challenges to Human Health. And this exhibit focuses on why we're still challenged by infectious disease, looking at evolution and also some of the socioeconomic challenges that cause diseases to emerge and re-emerge. And we also look at some of the preventative and treatment measures that can be used to control disease. Well, we're a very interactive museum, so we have a lot of hands-on computer-based interactives. And I would say some of our highlights is, one, we have a wall where you can actually look at people from around the world and see some of the unseen passengers that are there, like uh, bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. We also have a number of models that are actually cutting edge modern research that have just come out that we've used um, new kinds of multimedia rendering to make them really accessible for people. So you can come in and actually see data that scientists haven't seen yet published and understand it. So we're really excited to be offering that to the public. We have a tabletop exhibit where you can look at malaria spread in a village. So if we start it up, we're going to zoom down and we're going to look at Namawala, Tanzania. If you look at different scenarios, we can run a scenario and what we see is over a five year span, cases of malaria in this village. So we have red cases that pop up which are active, orange cases which are people that are asymptomatic, and then yellow which are people that are uninfected. And we can make choices. We can let everybody in the village take their drugs and see how that affects the number of cases. The population of the United States uh, is not immune, literally or kind of uh, metaf metaphorically, uh, to infections that would occur elsewhere in the world and potentially spread to the United States. So it's important that the population of the United States uh, understand the risk of infectious diseases from outside, but it's also important for people in the United States to understand that we have controlled a lot of infectious disease in the United States uh, through the 20th century, but that the viruses and bacteria change uh, and that they can uh, emerge with uh, new capabilities uh, and uh, we have to be ongoingly vigilant. We have to understand the emergence of resistant organisms. We have to invest heavily to treat resistant organisms of various types. We carry a great deal of the microbial, around, microbial world around with us, and it doesn't cause harm. Even those organisms that are capable of causing harm don't usually cause harm in an intact, normal, healthy individual. So simply finding a microbe or knowing that a microbe is present should not be grounds for you know, pulling out the, the shotgun the antibiotics or the antibacterials and blasting away. These organisms are not only not causing harm, they're, they may be essential for health. I think that's one important message here. Another is that what lurks within us are also an occasional disease-causing organism and it doesn't always cause someone to look ill. These are healthy appearing people, yet they also carry organisms that are capable of causing disease as well. The website will be launching on April 1 and we'll be putting out all of the interactives online throughout the month of April. So when, if you can't come to the museum here in DC, you can go online and experience the exhibit virtually. And the URL is www.koshlinscience.org.